Many of you will see the full film linked below. However, when creating a film like this, there are typically three different versions that come about. There's the film you script and plan out, which is pre-production. There's the film that is actually created in the field, which is production. And then there's the film that comes about in the edit, which is post-production. The pre-production phase of this journey began in February 2022, when Scotty came to Brent and I and wanted to create a bikepacking film. We hopped on numerous Zoom calls and meetings in order to figure out how we were gonna actually gonna make this happen. Our biggest challenges came down to how much stuff we could realistically bring with us on our bikes for a week, in addition to our filming gear, our photo gear, and our fishing gear. We got all this stuff kind of laid out. We're putting everything into bags and trying to make sure we got everything we need, but as light as possible. What's our uh, clothes situation? It's gonna be tight. One pair of underwear, bike chamois, long underwear, shorts, one shirt, one jacket, one rain shell. Seven items a piece. And socks. Nine items. Shit, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our trip was on gravel, but the single track portion of our journey really added that next level challenge. So we knew we had to pack light. None of us had any idea what to expect. I always forget how cold the hammocks are at night. So if anyone watching this, make sure you bring a sleeping pad so it insulates your butt against the cold air that sweeps underneath the hammock, which I did not do. You're going light. I'm going light, that's the, that's the goal. I ditched that idea and I also ditched my comfort at the same time. So it's, if you want light, it doesn't necessarily mean comfortable. You gotta make room for all those extra batteries we're bringing. It's either get the shot or keep my butt warm. Finally, after months of planning, it was time to embark on our journey. We gathered the last of our necessities and made our way to the meetup spot. We ran the shuttle and started packing up our bikes, all of us realizing we had way too much stuff. After hours of packing and thinning out our gear, we never really felt ready, but at a certain point, we had to accept our fate. It was time to ride. Ripping, bud. Dude. Good speed, Brent. Way to carry it. Brent, act like you're shooting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get that portrait mode. <laughs> ah, these fucking flies are crushing me while I was trying to get the shot. When run and gun filming, it is crucial to always be ready with your camera. Even if that means getting out the GoPro or the iPhone and just capturing those raw and real moments that happen when you don't expect. This is the longest endurance event <laughs> or activity I've ever done. Dude, your bike probably weighs a hundo. Dude, my bike is too heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> On this trip, we were tasked not only with filming each other, but also filming ourselves. There are many occasions where we had to run way up ahead, set up the camera on a tripod, hit record, run back to the bikes, get on the bikes, ride by the camera, get off the bikes, go back and get the camera. Got the shot? Got the shot. It takes a little work, but that's how you get good shots. Hell yeah. Stop the recording and then get back on the bikes and continue our journey down the road. We're getting set up for a shot right now. I'm gonna put the tripod up here on one of these rocks and we're gonna pedal back and then pedal past the camera. We wanna get one with the, the river in the frame. We got Will setting up the shot here. Gorilla pod with the R5 on the tree. Will it hold? That's the real question. We, we spent extra time today buttoning down all our bags. We'll see if it works. I mean, the first downhill day we had was 
bag failure after bag failure, stop and pick it up, restrap it. <laughs> My rod tube fell off on the single track, but luckily Scotty was behind me. So we picked it up without having to backtrack, but none of us noticed Wills and uh, <laughs> now, yeah. now we're down. <laughs> I bet, I bet like right after we found your rod and we stopped there for a second yeah. and then we kept going, you were behind us. I was us. in the, I was in yeah, the end. That's yeah. what happened. I, was, I hope it didn't fall out in that little creek crossing. Extra, we'll extra, find it. extra mileage right here, boys. Yep. It's all good. We needed good more burn. pedaling. Rod tube down. Rod tube down. Still back there. Oh, you lost the bag. Sorry, right, Scotty's getting some good scenery shots up there with the drone while we're strapping this down. Yep. Keep it mellow, dude. We don't need to lose more shit anyways. Dead cat down. This downhill is rough on our shit. Part of the fun of being a filmmaker is tackling the numerous unforeseen challenges. You basically have to be a Swiss Army knife and be ready to adapt to the ever-changing situations. Brent, act like you're doing shit. <laughs> 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 oh dear. There, packing good. Good. This is last day. We've been pretty much away from water for two days. We've got to shower, but we haven't had enough time to like do laundry. So, the smell of the fire is the best thing around here, without a doubt. <laughs> See ya! That's how you do it. Isn't that just the cutest drone you've ever seen? You brought a microfiber towel? That's yeah. so heavy. I can't believe it. Extra space, dude. You got 48 megapixels. You can see every little freaking smudge. <laughs> so yesterday, we just realized this. Well, first, there's a bunch of shit all over my dead cat. But. I think there's a rock or something that got stuck in my lens. And so this is a 24 to 70 and I can't zoom past like 40 right now. It's, it's, it's like stuck. And so now it's just dead weight at this point because we can't even use the 70. This was our one zoom lens of the trip. So if any of the viewers are thinking of buying a camera in the near future, Canon wins. <laughs> Buy your G Master lenses, not Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I agree too. Then, um... Whoa! Well, what? I got 70. Holy shit! As you saw earlier, the lens got stuck at like 35, because I think there was a rock in there. But we're back in action, dude. Team Sigma, come on! <laughs> that's a smooth twist, 2470. Who needs a G Master? Who, you don't need a G Master. I said that earlier, you do not need a G Master. After gathering eons of footage in the field, now it's finally time to shape all of those clips into a finished product. The end result is hidden within that hard drive and it's your job as the editor to uncover it. At this stage, there's so many directions that you can go and the most important thing to do is find that direction and go with it. You're essentially faced with a big block of marble and you have to get out your chisel and chip away every little piece until you finally have a statue. We got Brent on the phone here on the FaceTime showing him our, our setup and everything. Got the whole storyline laid out in some post-its. Into the pain cave we go. We're kind of going through our timelines right now, and we're just kind of trimming everything down to the bare essentials of what we need. So Will and I are just sitting here. We got our master timeline broken up into different days, kind of our, all of our select footage. And so it's nice having another Another person here, Will and I working together on this to kind of make decisions and we're starting to kind of piece the story together. And of course, always fun to relive the trip. So, just cutting away, making things happen. We've got our, uh, our full biking route here. And as we've been looking at it, we're, we're kind of using this to, to tell the story. We're gonna have graphics throughout the film to kind of drive the story. And 
our route looks very much like a just traditional story arc, which is really cool. We start at the lowest point and we have our first climb and our second climb right here that we actually go higher than the first climb. So with each hill, we're going just a little higher, a little bit bigger climb, and then our final big, big climb on the ridgeline, which is our climax of the film. And then this is where we wind everything back down to the valley. Yeah, we didn't even plan it this way, but we just realized it while we're editing that this is kind of how it panned out. And it is super fitting, you know, and it's, it's cool how this is all coming together. You know, that's the magic of editing and making a film is that, you know, the more you think about it, the more you brainstorm and put time in on post-production, which is actually where most of the time is spent in making a film. You know, it took us a week to film this, but it's gonna take weeks, maybe if months, depending on the film. This one's been months of post-production, just trying to put it all together. You know, that's, um, that's part of the fun. That's why we like to do this, because you know, it takes time and effort to make things come together and it all pays off in the end when you come out with a good film. It's pretty cool, man. Excited to be here, excited to have Scotty out in the studio, putting this all together, making some magic happen. It's been good, man. It's been good. good. Time to get back after it, back on the, the computer. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't seen the full bikepacking film yet, please click that link below. It'll take you over to Scotty's channel. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us both out. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, this is a little surprise for Will in post-production. Taking a little break from editing, trying to learn this closing song that we're using for the film. <clears throat> Probably doesn't sound great, but we're gonna give it a shot. Saddle boy, there's nothing that you did. All those things I told you still ringing in your head. Wipe that dust off your boots and tip your hat to the wind. You gotta cry.